So ever since the birth of the online world, collaboration via the web has been something a lot of us have relied on. And then 2020 happened and all of a sudden, what was already a pretty popular method of collaborating soon exploded. And here's the thing, I don't think it's gonna be changing all too soon. I think where possible, online collaboration is going to be the preferred method of working in teams for the foreseeable future. So then the question begs, what are the tools and platforms that are best for collaborating via the web? You've got platforms like Zoom or Skype, and these are largely focused on the video chat side of things. And then you've got more feature rich tools like Notion or Slack or Microsoft Teams. And these are platforms that really help teams to organize and work through projects. But there is one other platform that is potentially even better than all of the above, and it's completely free. So the service I'm referring to is Taskade, and you may or may not have heard of it by now, but Taskade is a cross-platform service that works on Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, plus it has an incredibly powerful web platform as well. And it's kind of like every single one of those previous platforms that I mentioned above, but all jumbled into one. Taskade saves you time, particularly for remote collaboration, by combining the best of task management, documentation and writing notes, and team messaging making it an incredibly powerful all-in-one collaboration tool. Now, why does this sound like this is a sponsored video? Well, that's because it is. The team at Taskade did reach out and asked if I'd be interested in partnering up to showcase their platform on my channel, but in all honesty, it took me like one quick sneak peek around the app to reply and say, yep, I'm in. In fact, as a result of putting this video together, I've actually migrated the project managing side of my YouTube production workflow over to the Taskade platform. Now, with that said, essentially what I'm gonna to do today is walk you through their platform and try and explain how you can make the most of it. So if you're interested in maximizing your use of Taskade, well then you've come to the right place. Okay, so I'm currently using the web version of their platform, but I will showcase the app version a little later on. But taking a look at the main dashboard page here, and if you haven't used a project management or task organizer tool like this before, then you might be wondering what all of these buttons do and how everything works. Well, to start, the main home page, if you will, is what's called a workspace. And you can see this one is called Sam Beckman's YouTube workspace. And this is where I'm putting all of my YouTube related projects and things of that nature. But the cool thing is you can also create other workspaces if need be as well. So let's say in conjunction with my YouTube channel, I also run a real estate videography business. If that's the case, then I can come down here, click the plus icon and create a second workspace that is for a different business that I run. And then you can see that I also have an additional workspace down here for personal tasks. Okay, so from there, within each of our workspaces, we can create what are called subspaces. So there are a thousand different ways that you could approach this, but for me, I like to keep things fairly simple and I have a subspace for my YouTube video projects, I have one for my social media work, and I also have one for any ongoing brand projects that I'm working on. So these all fall very much under the banner of my YouTube channel, hence why they've been categorized that way. But you don't even necessarily need to use subspaces if you don't want, but I'll explain why they can be very handy a little later on. But then from there, it's all about projects. So taking a look at my video projects subspace, you can see I have all of the upcoming videos that I'm working on for my YouTube channel. And so for me, what I do is I plan out my videos for the next month or so, or at least as best as I can. And then I just enter each of them into my video projects subspace. Now for context, the planning process for my videos is sometimes a fairly lengthy process. So for example, lately I've been doing these one month and two month later phone reviews on my channel rather than rushing to get them out as soon as an embargo is lifted. But given that I'm using these phones for an extended period of time, what I'll do is anytime I'm using the phone and something happens that I think could be worth including in the review, then I'll open up the task aid application on my phone, jump into that particular phone review project and I'll make a simple note of the observation. That way, when it comes to putting my script together, I have all of these reference points there and ready to utilize if I think they're worth including. Now, speaking of the script, I've also got a section at the bottom here for working on the full script. So transferring these ideas from this bullet point list into the script is just about as seamless as it can get. Now, whilst we've got this project open, you can see this is for a one month later review of the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra that I'm currently working on, although it's most likely live now on the channel. So link above for you to watch it if you're interested. But as you can see above the script and the observation list, I have a checklist that I've also set up. Now I use 
use really itemized checklists for every project that I work on because it helps me to feel productive and I just love checking off items off my to-do list as I'm working on a project. But you can see that I have the entire production process outlined here, all the way from scripting to the various stages of the filming process and I even have creating the thumbnail and uploading the video included on this checklist. Now I can also collapse each of these sections really quickly by pressing the little arrow icons over here or if you have loads and loads of sections, you can do this all at once by coming up to this menu and selecting either fold all or unfold all. And you can even really quickly reorganize things by dragging these handles around. And the cool thing is that we have a bunch of different view options as well. So we're currently looking at the list view, but we can change this by coming up to this button here and selecting from one of these options. So we have board, we have action, there's mind map, and finally we have the organization chart view. But this mind map view is a fairly recent addition to the tool and it's just a really great visual representation of your ongoing projects. And I think a lot of people are gonna really like using this particular view for working through projects. And what's even cooler is that I don't have to create this project with each of these different sections manually every single time. If we jump back to my video project subspace and then over to the template section, you can see I actually have a bunch of different templates that I've created for the various types of video projects that I might be working on. So if we go into the template for my top apps videos, for example, you can see I have my checklist up the top here, the list of apps that are gonna be included below that, a section for the script, and finally a section for mentioning the apps that will have promo codes available. And the other templates are somewhat similar, but adapted for various specific needs I might have for those projects. So when I'm starting a project, I'll simply click the new button, click on whichever template up here applies, rename it accordingly, set the publication date, and then everything is there, ready to be filled in as the project gets completed. And then anytime a video has been completed, I can just hit the markers complete button and it will then be moved to the completed folder or archived folder, which helps to keep the projects page a little cleaner and more organized. Now, so far, we've kind of just touched on the productivity and organization side of Taskade. And as you can see, it's a really effective tool for using it even just for that side of things. But let's now shift gears a little bit and chat about how we can start using this as a collaboration tool. So for every different level of task aid, you can invite collaborators. So I could invite a collaborator to an entire workspace and they'd see all of the subspaces or the projects under that workspace, or I could just invite them to one single project that I'm working on. Now, obviously this is scalable. So for large teams that have perhaps several different smaller teams within that overall workspace, you can see how effective this can be. Rather than having hundreds of employees able to access the entire workspace, instead, they're only accessing the subspace or even the project that is relevant to them. So not only does every collaborator then get real-time editing access over the workspace or project that they're a part of, but there's also instant messenger functionality and video chat functionality for each project as well, meaning this is honestly a perfect platform for collaborating with teams. Now, just as an example of how I set up my workspace, I'm the only person that has access to my YouTube workspace and also my video projects and social media subspaces, but I do invite brand coordinators to have access to the various projects in my brand projects subspace. Now, obviously the real estate videography subspace was just an example, but for my personal subspace, that's where I could invite, let's say my wife, for example, and then she can see all of the projects that we have going on and update them and edit them herself. So that's the basics of how to maximize the Taskade platform. Now, I haven't even touched on the fact that you can sync in your Google Calendar, you can customize the look of the workspace, and the team at Taskade are even working on features like Gantt charts and roadmaps, all of which will be added to the platform sometime in the near future. And as I mentioned at the start, the best part is that the platform is free to use. Now they are planning on adding a paid upgrade in the future, but from what I understand, this will essentially only allow you to do further customization and all of the core functionality will remain free. But the team at Taskade have told me that anyone who reaches out to them via the contact page on their website, which I will leave linked down below, mentioning that they've seen my video will be upgraded to the premium version for free. So that's pretty nifty. Aside from that, hopefully you found this video helpful. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you Taskade for supporting the channel and I will catch you later.